Let's take a moment and talk specifically about the electrical inverter that you guys are going to install during electrical installation. What does the inverter do? That's what we want to cover here. You're going to install it later, but what's the idea of the inverter and why is it there? Well, let's also look at it just for a moment as to what we've got. Actually, in this case, for this particular model of inverter, we have two parts, right? There's this lower part, which is the location where the DC disconnect is located and the wiring is going to be done. But it's the upper part up here, kind of looking at it, whoa, way up like this. This upper part of the inverter is all the master electronics. That's what uh, really makes the inverter work. So let's take a second. That typically looks something like this, where this is all the uh, electronics that's inside. Normally, you're never going to work on that stuff. You're not going to repair it. Uh, if something's broken, it's just going to be swapped out. But the idea is that in here is where the DC, or direct current electricity, from the solar panels, kind of like a battery, just straight voltage, is brought in, and it's chopped, broken up, filtered, refined, synthesized back into a sine wave, uh, alternating current sine wave, at 60 cycles, or 60 hertz, which is standard for the US, and 240 volts nominal output, which is standard for the US residential. So that's the key idea of the inverter, is that it takes DC electricity in from the modules when the sun is shining, and converts it into acceptable AC power for the house. And a real key is that it's acceptable. The output has to be really clean. It's filtered so that the sine wave is clean, as clean or even cleaner than the sine wave that the utility actually sends to the house. This particular system that we're modeling for this course is an optimizer-based system. There are other types of systems, but optimizer system is super cool. Key thing to notice there is that there are actually two switches on this inverter. There's this upper switch, which is often called an on-off switch, and then there's this main power switch down here on the DC disconnect. So this big switch is the one that actually controls the connection of the inverter to the array right here. And you're going to wire up these things. So this is the main DC power disconnect. It's the DC safety switch. And this whole area is the DC safety switch enclosure. This switch turns off any connections coming in from the array to the inverter. So you turn this off, it's got no connection to the array whatsoever. This switch up here is the switch that actually tells the optimizers to turn on. So you can be connected to the array, but you have not sent what's often called a heartbeat signal up to the optimizers to say, hey, come out of your safe mode and start actually optimizing and outputting power. So there's these two switches, and they'll be used in electrical commissioning and troubleshooting and so on. But just wanted you to know that in the case of an optimizer system, there's more than just one switch. There's actually another switch that turns on the optimizers and tells them to operate. The other key thing that inverters do is communicate. And they both communicate to the installer in, on their uh, remote monitoring dashboard and to the homeowner on their home computer. But they also typically display on a, uh, a display right there at the inverter, like we see up here. This particular one is, is off right now. But the idea is that there's a whole bunch of um, monitoring circuitry inside the upper stage up here that displays and shows you its output power and current and voltage and all sorts of codes and so on. In this particular case, this model of inverter, we've generically modeled a switch right here that would be the kind of switch that you would press to step through the various menu choices that would be displayed on a menu at the inverter. So all inverters are going to have some sort of display mechanism and some sort of stepping switch that allows you to step through that uh, those various levels of um, menus to tell you all sorts of things about what is or perhaps is not working at the inverter. So know that the inverter not only changes DC to AC, but it also communicates to the homeowner and to the installer uh, a lot about the operation of the system. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.